Hello, welcome to this tutorial for creating transparent art using Clip Studio Paint. This tutorial will show you how to create transparency in your art through materials such as water, using layer, opacity, and layer effects. Following the theme of this month, I decided to use a painting of a mermaid underwater. The first thing I am going to do is add a new layer. Then I used a gradient tool to create a gradient blue on top of the existing work. I changed the blending mode of this layer to overlay to give it a transparent effect. Right now the blue color is too strong so I am going to change the layer opacity to 20. So now the colors are lighter and more translucent. It also gives a watery tone to the painting. Next, I want to create a stronger sense of light, so I create a new layer. I use the airbrush tool, select the soft airbrush, but I'm going to use it at full hardness so that it will create a streaking light effect. With the eyedropper tool, I'm going to pick a light blue color. I want a lighter blue tone to be coming from the top. I lower the brush density because I want this brush to be more transparent. This creates a light source at the top to show that the light is streaking down from above so we know where our light source is coming from. Then I lower the layer opacity to give a transparent underwater effect. You can see now that it looks a lot lighter at the top. I keep doing this until I get the desired effect that I want. I also want the light to be streaking in the back, so I extend the brush all the way here. Now I want to darken the back to create more contrast. I pick a darker blue color with the eyedropper tool and use the soft airbrush to add very soft edges in the back so that it looks like the bottom of the ocean. Now I want to add a transparent glow. So I add a new layer that is going to be on top of the gradient layer. I pick a very soft yellow color so that it creates this glowing light effect. We're creating a glow that's going to be layering on top of this mermaid. I'm adding this on top of the hair and parts of the face that would get natural light coming from above. Also for parts of the body like the shoulders and other area of the body that would get light. Next I want the trident to glow, so I am going to follow the same process here. The light color is really making the trident pop out. I also want her scales to pop out, so I'm adding the color here to show that her scales are glowing too. As you can see, it looks like she has glowing scales. And I added two different parts of her body where I think it would have a glowing effect. I 
I don't want this effect to be too overpowering, so I decrease the layer opacity just a bit so that it becomes a lighter glow. I change the blending mode of the layer to pin light for more transparency. I add a bit of a glow to her armor as well, just to accentuate it. Next, I want to create some more transparent water effects in the back. I create a new layer, I select the airbrush tool, and then I use the droplet tube brush to create some water bubbles in the background. I change the layer blending mode to overlay and decrease the opacity a little bit so that it looks more transparent. Then I create another new layer and select the tone scraping tool. I kept hardness to be very low and particle size and density low. Now I paint these glow particles in the background. I change the blending mode to soft light so that it's a little bit more faded in the background. I do want the bubble effects to be on the trident too, so I create a new layer and I add the effects here. I lower the layer opacity a bit to add the glowing effect. Another thing I want is to add a little more glow to the center of the trident. To add the final touches to this painting, I create more water effects in the background. I do this by creating another layer. I'm using the tonal scraping tool, then I decrease the opacity for transparency. For the sense of moving water, I'm going to use the running color spray to create the effects here. I'm going to create some large water bubbles here and decrease the layer opacity so that it looks like running water. Lastly, I want to adjust the lighting slightly with the lighter blue color so that it looks like there's more light here. So I'm going to add another new layer for final adjustments. I'm doing the same thing on the top of the hair to create a more transparent look in the waters. So there you have it. This is how I create transparent water effects using layers, opacity, and layer effects on Clip Studio Paint. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial and have fun creating.